This lesson gives you an overview of the RS Logics 500 software main window and display options. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to identify features of the main window and modify display attributes. RS Logics 500 software has multiple display options that can be configured to match your working style and application needs. Becoming familiar with the layout of the main window and configuring display preferences at the beginning of a project can help you improve your programming and troubleshooting. The RS Logics 500 software main window provides a framework in which we can view various project components, including the project view, the ladder view, the status bar, and toolbars. We'll examine the software in its default layout. This is how the software will be arranged the first time it's launched after installation. The title bar displays the name of the program and the current project that is open. The menu bar contains multiple menus with items grouped by function, such as edit options, view options, communications options, and more. The standard toolbar or main toolbar is used for many functions that are standard to most Microsoft Windows applications such as save, cut, copy, and paste. You may use these functions regularly as you develop and test your project. For more information about these or any other buttons, the mouse pointer can be moved to a component. A floating tooltip opens to indicate its function. The online toolbar displays communication status and forcing status. When the project is online with the controller, the icon in the online toolbar is animated. If you're online, you can view and change the operational state of the processor from this toolbar. The instruction toolbar allows you to select instructions to enter into your ladder logic. Instructions are grouped as tabbed categories. When we click a category tab, the instruction toolbar just above it changes to show instructions in that category. The project view is a Microsoft Explorer type visual representation of all of the files in your SLC project. It includes controller configuration, program files, data files, and database files. The ladder view is a window that graphically displays the ladder logic files in your project. At the bottom of the ladder view window, you'll see a tab for each open program file. By clicking the tabs at the bottom of the ladder view, we can quickly switch between several program files. The scroll bar in the ladder view is used for scrolling through rungs of ladder logic. The status bar functions like a tooltip but often contains additional information. It can display the names of menu selections and screen components when the cursor is placed over them. Note the difference between the current tooltip and the message in the status bar. With RS Logics 500 software, you can make many decisions about how your windows, toolbars, and views are displayed. If we want to change the toolbars, from the view menu, we can select or clear the checkboxes for the toolbars we want displayed. We can also use the view menu to enlarge or decrease the items in the ladder view by selecting zoom in or zoom out. We can also use the View menu to access the Properties dialog box. To open the Properties dialog box, from the menu bar, click View, and then select Properties. We can also, within the Properties dialog box, we can change the appearance of the ladder logic in the ladder view. Accessing Display Properties will allow you to configure a variety of options, such as colors and fonts for different project components, the type and format of descriptions shown in the ladder view, and other address and ladder display options. Now it's your turn. Use the menu bar to open the properties dialog box. 
Different display properties can be configured using the Comment Display tab, the Address Display tab, and the Colors tab. We'll start by reviewing the display options available in the Comment Display tab. Within the Comment Display tab, page titles are set to be shown by default. To hide page titles, clear the Show Page Titles checkbox, and then click Apply. Note the changes in the latter view. To show the page titles again, select the Show Page Titles checkbox, and then click Apply. Notice how the page titles are now displayed in the latter view. Rung comments are also visible by default. To hide rung comments, clear the Show Rung Comments checkbox, and then click Apply. Notice how the rung comments are no longer displayed. To show rung comments again, select the Show Rung Comments checkbox, and then click Apply. Rung comments are now displayed in the latter view. Address descriptions are also visible by default. To hide address descriptions, clear the Show Descriptions checkbox, and then click Apply. Symbols are also visible by default. To hide or display symbols, clear or select the Show Symbols checkbox, just like we did with the page titles and rung comments. We can also configure the alignment of rung comments and address descriptions in the latter view. Right now, our address descriptions are left aligned. To change the alignment, select the left, right, or center button, and then click Apply. Our address descriptions are now centered. Display options for address displays can be configured using the Address Display tab. First, we need to click the Address Display tab. We can configure bit addresses to be displayed on a single line by selecting the single line option and then clicking Apply. We can configure bit addresses to display by bit only or by word and bit. To display by bit only, select bit. <coughs> to display by word and bit, select word bit. Finally, let's learn how to change the background color and the text color for various display windows and letter components. To begin, we'll click the Colors tab. Here we can see and change the default color settings by selecting items in the Set Colors for list box. To change the color of addresses, we'll select Addresses from the Set Colors for list box. Then we'll select Red as the text color. And finally, we'll click Apply. Notice how addresses are now displayed in red. Be careful when changing some component colors. Using the same color for text color and background color will result in rungs and documentation not being visible. To return display items to their original default colors, click the Defaults button and then click Apply.